Hello everybody, welcome to Shine On. My name is Jacqueline, or you can call me Jack. I am with Luminous Alignment, one of the co-creators, and I won the Healer of the Year with Project Bring Me to Life. And what I'm gonna be talking about with my workshop today is what is your truth? And what it's going to encompass is really trying to unlearn and detect you know, the societal beliefs that we've somehow made ours. So I kind of want to, you know, check in with your beliefs, check in with, you know, what's true for you, check in with what, you know, what your soul is wanting you to do instead of constantly repeating societal norms that are, you know, just constantly in our everyday lives. And what's, you know, a lot of the times that we just don't resonate with, doesn't make us feel good. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be talking about today. And then at the end, we'll probably do a little bit of forgiveness work towards society. And how I would like to begin is a little bit of a meditation just to get us more calm and just to open us up more about what we're about to get into. And please excuse my, my tired breath. I'm actually 37 weeks pregnant right now so my baby is about to come any minute so just bear with me but thank you so much okay so just close your eyes and take a deep breath in and exhale letting go of your worries and your cares being fully aware of this moment right here, right now. Focusing on your inhale and your exhale. Being aware of your breath. Take another deep breath in. And exhale. Relaxing your face, relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your arms and your hands and your legs and your feet. Just basking in this beautiful stillness. Take another deep breath in and exhale. Being fully aware of this moment right here, right now. And in this moment, realize that all is taken care of and provided for in your world that this very moment, all is well. All of your needs are met. And take another deep breath in. And exhale. Being focused on your breathing. And you can slowly open your eyes when you're ready. Okay, awesome. So how I would like to begin this section of what's your truth. Um, Start to if you have if you have a pen and paper that would be great because we are going to be writing some things down So I'll give you about a few minutes to grab a paper and pen and if you have one already great and get started Okay So what is your truth for me what I think what are your truth is is What makes your soul excited what gets you happy what what makes sense to you? You know what's the the little bliss moments that you feel when you do something for yourself 
you know, the, the, it's like time stops, those type of moments. Um, and I, what I feel like what your truth is, is, you know, having that knowledge of, it's this infinite knowledge within you that just makes complete sense. So when we're out about, and there's a lot of weird beliefs going on, like for instance, let's say your parents, you know, if your parents growing up, they've always been taught a certain thing with their parents, so they've been teaching you that same thing, but for some reason you've always wanted to rebel, like it didn't make sense to you. Those type of things is what we're gonna be, you know, kind of working through and looking forward to unlearning. Um, another thing, uh, about beliefs, you know, it could it could come from friends. It, most of the time, it's from society. You know what we're taught, and what I think what your truth is is, you know, the those little hits of revelations or those little hits of, you know, those gut feelings that you get about things. You know, knowledge and wisdom, and you know the little. Those little truths that come up within you that make complete sense like for example for me one of my truths is about life is there is no right way to live life you know we get taught like oh that's wrong and this is bad there's a certain way to do things like for instance marriage um, you know, we get taught by society that you have to get married first, and then have children. Um, we'll actually get married, then move in together, then have children, you know, do all that stuff. But for me, what my truth is, I don't necessarily believe that because how are you supposed to know somebody if you don't live with them first before making that huge commitment? So my belief is, is if you're gonna be dating somebody, and you want to marry them with that big commitment, um, move in with them first. You know, move in with them first and see what it's like because you don't really know somebody until you live with them, until you see their quirks, what resonates with you, like every day, if it'll work out, you know, what's, you know, their, the things that you'll accept about yourself, things like that. And, you know those those are my like my beliefs and my truth so for me to necessarily think that you have to save your sex um and get married first and then get and then move into an apartment or a house or whatever and then moving together and then have sex for the first time and you know all that doesn't make any sense because it could potentially not work out or you don't really get to know the person so things like that it's really really good to check in with yourself, question everything, you know, check in with yourself, what works, what doesn't work. And one of the things that, um, what I love about, you know, listening to myself. So that was one example about marriage. Another thing that I think is a good example to check in with yourself about truths and what my truth is, um, is about a nine to five job. You know, I'm still transitioning out of a nine to five job, but like who says it's normal or who says it's okay to go to work five days out of the week doing a nine to five job? You know, you feel like a robot. You don't feel alive. You feel very much like everybody else, like you're a number, you know? And then at the end of the day, you, you, you're at a place for eight hours and then you come home and it's time to go to sleep and then you wake up and do the whole thing again and then you have to look forward to the weekend two days between yourself and kind of repeat the cycle over and over again so my truth is I don't think a 9 to 5 job is necessary at all um, I think it for some reason it diminishes or it makes your soul I don't know how what would the correct word be but you kind of just feel not alive anymore, like your soul is dying. So for my truth, um, you know, I just, I think whatever your purpose is, go with it. And how to pay attention to what your purpose is. Um, just pay attention to things that make you feel good. Like the smallest things, you know, walking a dog outside 
or going to the beach or traveling. You know, there's ways that the universe will work to make your bl little blisses into one big thing for you to make out of a career, I just guess you could say. Um, so I think maybe right now we can take about five minutes, five to ten minutes, and you know, write down all of society's beliefs um, that you just don't agree with, that don't work out for you, that just don't resonate with you. Um, so take that time. We'll give about ten minutes. Um, take the time to write down society's beliefs that you don't resonate with and then see and then on the other side so you'll have here's a really good example so on this side you can on a piece of paper draw a light line down the middle of it okay this side we're gonna write down society's beliefs like the the, the societal norm and then on this side, we're going to write down what you believe to be true for you. So please take about 10 minutes to do that, however long you need. And you can pause this. And then when you're done, unpause it. Keep playing. <laughs> okay, so we are back. And... So how did that make you feel? Like what were the things that you wrote down that were like, oh yeah, huh, I don't believe in that. Or that doesn't really make sense to me. Or what does that even mean for me to actually constantly keep believing what society is constantly trying to pump into us, you know? Um, so next, we're going to do the same process, but we are going to do it with our parents. So I know a lot of you <laughs> probably grew up, you know, with parents that, well-meaning parents, you know, they didn't know any better. They taught you things that their, you know, your grandparents taught them and it just didn't work out. It just didn't make sense. It didn't resonate with you. So a few couple examples with me, um, you know, growing up, I was always taught my poor parents, I love them very much. They're amazing. But they're constantly teaching me that money, there's not enough to go around. Um, there's not enough money, or I'm, we're broke, or I, we can't afford this. It was just a very negative um, energy towards money. Um, and for some reason to me, like that didn't make sense. It didn't make sense because I would see all these other people doing really well financially and I would question like, wait, why are we doing good? Like, why don't, why don't we have these capabilities? Why don't we have this plethora of um, finances? You know, like, what are they doing differently um, than what my parents are doing? Um, so, it was really instilled in me, you know, from my parents that there it was just always scarcity, there's always lack, there's always this feeling of not enough. And I think growing up when I was finally realizing that, wow, where did these beliefs come from? I mean, I had negative <laughs> thoughts about money, thinking like um, money doesn't grow on trees, it's the root of all evil. That was a pretty funny one that I used to have for money. Money is the root of all evil. I think that's so silly. Um, <laughs> and another thing uh, that I always had, like this belief about money, is that it, they're just, yeah, like I said, there just wasn't enough to go around just because of what I was taught growing up with my parents. So, there's always enough, there's not enough to go around, money's evil, money doesn't grow on trees, I can't afford anything, blah, blah, blah. You know, that constantly repeated cycle you hear your parents constantly saying, just not fun. So, what I started doing, I really tried to start healing myself with, with my relationship with money. And 
one of the things I started doing is I, it was either it was Tony Robbins that I saw you know he he was really one of those YouTube videos talked about how to switch the things around and it's another woman spiritual woman um, Edwin Gaines she's helped me a lot reading her books you know helped me a lot change my relationship with money and you know I'm I wrote down my beliefs about money the, the negative stuff that I was taught and then on the other side I'm like well how does money make me feel like what is true to me about money and for me how I saw money was it's a beautiful circulation of energy so whatever you're paying for like you're getting an exchange back you have there has to be an equal exchange of energy you know when you um, when you take 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 from the universe it's kind of like it stops the universe kind of stops giving you what you want because there's no equal exchange there's no circulation because when you don't you know give back or when you hold on to things you're actually telling the universe like no don't send me anything anymore so that was one of the huge things that I had to really reprogram with um, with money so another thing about money and how I switched it was and I, and I love telling my clients this I'm, I'm an intuitive psychic and medium so a lot of the times when money financial stuff comes up I will you know tell them when they have to pay for their bills either realize that the bills they're trusting you you know these companies they're trusting you with their services first so they automatically assume you're wealthy you know you can afford this you can afford their services right so it's these bills they aren't really <laughs> annoying right they're actually a blessing because you're able to live in a place you know you're wealthy enough to have your place have an apartment own a house whatever the case may be you know you're able to have a cell phone you know you're able to eat food or you're you're able to pay for that car so like bills that was like one of the things that I really had to reprogram it's still a practice for me to this day because you know I'll have my moments where I'll have that weird energetic negative feeling when I put money out but it, you know it life is a journey anyway so you're constantly making making things better and better and better for yourself so with bills I had to really just be aware of my thoughts when they came in um, one of the big things that I'm still working on is um, college you know college student loans we will bring up college <laughs> in a little bit about societal beliefs um, you know realizing that I was able to have this degree they trusted me you know with with their services first to teach me you know and now I'm paying them back because they gave me something first and I should be circulating energy back so that's how I've been able to really kind of reprogram my stuff with money um, another huge thing that's really helped me change my energy about money um, is you know when you're paying for something it's not a lack you're actually just like paying bills whatever services you're paying for they're giving it to you first and you just give them the energy back it's really just a beautiful flow of energy and if you can see like I've been able to see money as energy money has been able to just flow into my life so much more easier than before like before it was kind of like a ugh, how am I gonna make this much money to pay for certain bills like how am I gonna do this but now it's been more of a flow it's been more of an ease like <laughs> just recently um, I just paid for my we just finished paying our midwife off um, I was able to, to hire a photographer for a birth experience here at home and and I was able to pay for birth classes all without insurance and when things kept coming up you know my midwife was like you need to pay for this and this and this I'm like okay and somehow the universe knew to bring that certain amount of money into my life to pay for it so that's where I'm at now compared to where I used to be years ago when I had the negative money beliefs that my parents kind of instilled in me so 
yeah that was you know that was one of the big things this is definitely changing you know your my energy about money that was a huge thing um, with my parents and another thing that I've had to really one of the little beliefs that my parents taught me was I didn't have the greatest um, examples of relationships so I always thought you know you run like you run from bad relationships or it wasn't even that you know it, I was taught to not own up and take responsibility for the shit that's going on in your life so I was taught to always blame other people for everything that's been going on in my life all the bad stuff the good stuff whatever it was um, to not ever take responsibility for what's happening and one of the big things that happened, the biggest shifts in my life that has happened that's got me to where I am now is taking responsibility for everything that's happened up from the moment I was born to the bad relationships, to the shitty jobs that I've had, to everything that's happened in my life. So, I love my parents, like I said, but you know, that was one of the things that I had to really unlearn was to stop blaming people for all the shit that's been happening in my life and to take full responsibility, insane response, self-responsibility for everything that's been going on. So, for instance, you know, we in this day and age know better than what our parents did before us. We have so much wisdom, so much knowledge at our fingertips, the internet, books, self-help books, like all of these things. Um, so I had to really dive deep within myself, check out new books, you know, YouTube channels, videos, do the whole thing, and really take responsibility for my shit that's been happening in my life. So those are my examples of, you know, stuff that my parents taught me that just did not work out. I'm like, because now my, you know, my relationship with my partner, Michael, is amazing. With him and I were able to, instead of me running from relationships, I think I worked on myself so much that now I'm in a relationship where we take responsibility for what's happened in our lives like when we get into arguments it's like okay how did I cause this and he'll do the same thing and it's it's such a, um, a raw relationship it's so transparent between him and I that we're able to just be real with each other be transparent be you know we're able to heal each other and I feel like that's what happens when you do a lot of this unlearning that you've been taught from like your parents and society. So in this moment, um, let's take another 10, you know, however, 10 minutes, however many minutes you need. Um, and we'll do this thing again where you have your parents' beliefs on this side that just did not resonate with you whatsoever. And then on this side, whatever correlates to them, their beliefs, what does resonate with you? So for me, like I, like I was talking about previously, it was, you know, money. Uh, I talked a little bit about relationships. And then, but mostly it was, you know, taking um, responsibility. You know, not taking responsibility for everything that's happened in your life. Um, so those are my examples. So whatever it is that your parents taught you that just doesn't resonate with you anymore, you can write it down here. And then on this side, what does work for you? So you can pause this, take all the time you need, and then play it again. Okay. okay. Well, welcome back. <laughs> all right. So in this next segment, um, I kind of talked about how, you know, college, I think college was one of the big things that society taught me 
you know, that society teaches us that is important. But honestly, going to college is not working anymore. Like, it's not. Because what's happening is people are going to college, have this really big debt, and then they're living with their parents to pay off these student loans. So, again, college. Um, I, f I feel like now we're able to learn stuff on YouTube, learn how to do things on YouTube. So there's so many different ways to learn stuff now, you know. Use your own inner intuitive guidance to do things. You know, you don't have to go to college because society is telling you to go to to college because obviously there there's a little bit of a programming that's happening with with our government and society about college and and you know it's just being in the system again so I feel like use your own intuition do what you feel is right watch those YouTube videos watch read books on your own get those self help books or whatever it is that you need um, and I feel like you can absolutely accomplish anything from your own like heart and your own intuition and your own passion like you can absolutely achieve anything um, and one of the things you know a really good example is Steve Jobs he actually did not he dropped out of college um, there's been a few other people who didn't, you know, finish high school, you know, and they've made incredible success for themselves. Excuse me, I'll drink a little bit of water. And, you know, just, just things like that, I think it's really good to, you know, see what really works for you, what doesn't, you know, and I feel like there's just so much to you, to you specifically. Um, and I feel like right now we could probably take take another, you know, a few minutes, pause this if you need to, but really take a few minutes and just write down what makes you happy. You know, the smallest things, um, like taking a walk, going to the beach, you know, the quirkiest things. If you like playing Pokemon, or if you like drawing, or if you like painting, if you like creating you know, jewelry, if you love to go bowling, if you like playing baseball, or whatever, whatever, you know, that you love to do, keep doing that. If you love reading, keep reading, you know, it's, it's so important to accept who you are and what you love to do. And that's another thing that I think what's part of your truth is to really accept all of the quirky things about you. Like really accept um, everything about you. You know, your laugh, your body, um, you know, the things that make you happy, that get you excited, the things you like. And another thing that I love to bring up is, you know, music and art and all these things. It's all subjective, like all of it. Um, and if you like an artist, if you like something and somebody else doesn't like it, psh, it's okay, do whatever makes you happy, right? So self-acceptance is part of owning your truth and being fully in your truth and knowing what your truth is. And again, your truth, you know, it, it can come in so many different forms, you know, your body, your music you love, the food you love to eat. Um, it, it, it's just so many different things. So, Keep doing what makes you happy, you know, forgive others if they don't like what you like. Kind of tough shit because it's you, you know, it makes you you. Keep doing that that makes you happy. And self-acceptance is what keeps keeps this thing moving, keeps your life moving. Um, but yeah, so pause it if you need to. Write down the things that really make you happy. And just be fully aware of truly loving and accepting yourself. It's really, really, really important to to constantly continue on this path of owning your truth and not um, really conforming to societal conditioning. It's trusting yourself, accepting yourself, accepting everything about you, 
the little things that irritate you, love those parts about you. Like, love everything about you. And that's what's going to make you so much more stronger and confident um, and more in alignment with who you are so you can keep moving forward. Okay? Um, and the last part of this, what we're going to do is do a little bit of forgiveness work with society. Um, yeah. So how I'd like for this to go is what we'll do is we can just sit back and relax, kind of be in a meditative space and just close your eyes and take a deep breath in and exhale. Take another deep breath in. And exhale. Take another deep breath in. And exhale. And you can repeat after me. I, Jacqueline, you can say your name, forgive society completely. I, Jacqueline, forgive society completely. I, Jacqueline, forgive society completely. I, Jacqueline, forgive society completely. And you can keep repeating that. I, your name, forgive society completely until you feel lighter. And just keep doing it and doing it until you feel good, until that that little resentful feeling or that little heavy feeling goes away. So just keep doing that over and over and over again. And you feel really, really, really good and light. And yeah, so I hope this section was good. Like I hope it helped you. I hope it benefited from you. I hope you benefited from it. So my wish and my prayers and my manifestation for you, for you all, is to continue on owning your truth and asking, you know, what is your truth? Ask that every day. You know, ask the questions. Question everything that's going on, you know, with society and with life. Question it all because a lot of the times it just doesn't work for you. There are so many um, unlimited ways to live life. Like, so many unlimited ways. Um, so question everything. You know, what your parents taught you. We love our parents, though. Um, what society has been teaching us. You know, some of the stuff that your friends believe in. Because, to be honest, as you keep accepting yourself and stepping in your truth, your circle of friends are going to change. It always happens. Um, so, yeah. I, you know, I wish you all the best. I hope that... I wish you all eternal love, abundance, happiness, fulfillment, success in whatever it is that your soul is calling you to do. So thank you so much for tuning in to this section. And um, you can follow me um, at luminousalignment.com and all of my social plugs will be in there. Again, my name is Jacqueline Clemente. Thank you so much for watching this segment of What is Your Truth? And you can find me at luminousalignment.com. Abundant blessings to you all. Thank you so much.